natural selection can't actually generate anything new. It can only operate on whatever is existing and it can only operate to remove what is existing. All modern scientific evidence points to the decay and destruction of original good design. If you like, good information getting worse. Many evolutionists claim that the origin of life is not part of evolution, but come on, they believe that all living things came from a single cell, which in turn came from a primordial soup. But notably absent from any rock anywhere is any trace of a primordial soup. Existence of a fossil by itself is actually proof that something happened very, very fast. We also know, therefore, that the rocks that the fossils are formed in must have been formed quickly as well. What we see points to catastrophic processes in the past. It fits exactly with the account in Genesis of Noah's flood, which destroyed the whole Earth. If the whole Earth was pure carbon-14, it could only last about a million years before it's all gone and we couldn't detect it. And yet, we repeatedly find carbon-14 in objects which are claimed to be millions and even billions of years old, including diamonds. Stephen Chu, Obama's energy minister, says, we know nearly everything we need to know about the universe except for a few small details, what is dark energy and what is dark matter. That's 96% of the stuff of the universe we know nothing about. <laughs> Now, there's some moral implications there. If the Creator made us, then He owns us and has a right to make the rules for us. But if we things made themselves, then there's no right or wrong. We're just really bags of rearranged pond scum. So what is murder? It's just one bag of chemicals impacting another bag of chemicals. There's another reason why uh, an evolutionist will hold on to their belief system, even when all the fatal flaws are revealed, and that is because if evolution isn't true, it strongly points them in a different direction. <laughs>